Max, the one to watch for the best in entertainment, now has live sports with the Bleacher Report sports add-on. Stream hundreds of select live games from MLB. That's gonna go! NBA, NHL, U.S. soccer, and NCAA men's March Madness. And it's all included for a limited time with any Max subscription. He got it. After the promo period, add it for $9.99 a month. Base subscription required. Apple Card is the credit card created by Apple. You earn 3% daily cash back up front when you use it to buy a new iPhone 15, AirPods, or any products at Apple. And you can automatically grow your daily cash at 4.15% annual percentage yield when you open a high-yield savings account. Apply for Apple Card in the Wallet app on iPhone. Apple Card subject to credit approval. Savings is available to Apple Card owners subject to eligibility. Savings accounts by Goldman Sachs Bank USA member FDIC. Terms apply. I'm just going to sort of come at this with my honest feeling about how I feel about the World Cup so far. It is a little bit as exactly as I thought it would be like before we started, exactly as I said on our preview podcast, it's jumbled up because I do love football and I, I love I love what the World Cup represents and it's amazing seeing people who, for whom this is, for lots of them, it will be once in a lifetime. For some of them, it will be three or four times in a lifetime if they're lucky chance to, to, to play for it all, to play for the World Cup and, and seeing some of the individual things that have happened. Like, of course, I'm an Arsenal fan. I love Bukayo Saka. Seeing Bukayo Saka score twice made my heart jump. I love, I love him. Ecuador's joy at, at, at winning that opener was, was sincere and beautiful. It was amazing watching um, Ishmael Assar for Senegal, even though his team didn't win in the end. I thought he was magnificent. The football has, has at times been great, but I, I mean, some of it's been great, some of it's been bad. Timothy Weir as well, of course, son of yes. George Weir, who never got to play in a World Cup, despite being the only African ever to win the Ballon d'Or. There's lots of football stories that are amazing, and I'm struggling to just not be really, really angry about the the ridiculousness of, of everything that's going on off the pitch. From an England standpoint, specifically, it's been big in the news over here and and certainly has dominated my thinking for a lot of the day. This absolute nonsense over the one love armband, which was the most tepid, pathetic symbolism to begin with, right? So Yes. Yes, I agree. You've 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 made a big sort of point of, well, we're going to go to the World Cup, but we're going to show that we don't agree with everything about this World Cup. So we're going to wear this armband, which, by the way, doesn't say anything explicitly supportive of LGBTQ plus people. It literally just says one love. It has a rainbow on it that doesn't look like a real rainbow and certainly doesn't look like the pride rainbow. It's it's a bizarre combination of colors. So it was already a very, very like ambiguous, gentle, non-provocative attempt to say something supportive. And then this having been communicated to FIFA weeks and months ago, getting to the eve of the tournament and finding out that you could get booked for it and immediately just backing down. Now, it wasn't just the English FA. There were seven countries committed to wearing this and they, all of them are backed down. And I just, it really cuts to the core of me this one, Mina, because, you know, I, I want to stress again, like I said in the preview episode, and as I said, the same thing to Newsnight tonight, my position in this is nothing. I am an extremely, in the grand scheme of the world, privileged person who can choose not to go to the World Cup, who can still do work from here, who will not go hungry or be arrested for being a transgender woman where I live, who can move not always that there's nothing that goes wrong in this country, but, and not that there aren't some people in politics who are quite aggressively anti-trans in this society, but in general, I can live my life quite well. Mm-hmm. And it's not about me. But if you're going to make the big talk that these countries made about wanting to stand up for something and stick up for something, and what you're talking about standing up for and sticking up for is LGBTQ plus people in football in general, not just me set in Brighton where it's quite comfortable. And you have to acknowledge that across the world, there are a lot, like a lot of LGBTQ plus people in Qatar and elsewhere for whom loving who they want to love, being the person they want to be is an act that puts their livelihood at risk, that puts their life at risk, that puts them at legal jeopardy in a country like Qatar where they can just literally be thrown in jail for it or worse. This is something that existing and just being authentic can cause you. 
And you're saying that the jeopardy of a yellow card is enough to back you away from the message. Oh, hang on. We were on your side until someone said they'd show us a yellow card. I mean, honestly, the words I want to say right now, Mina, are uh, are words I'm going to avoid so you don't get an explicit tag, but it's, it's offensive. Like it's offensive. Don't say it in the first place if you're not willing to back it up with at least a tiny bit of backbone, with at least a tiny bit of courage beyond just making some pathetic gesture that you're not willing to even stand behind. And, you know, I, I have I have more sympathy for the players because of what I said before, because this is every four years and you don't get many chance at your lifetime and and you're not the the power in this system. But the FA, the Welsh FA, the other countries that were behind this, pathetic, pathetic not to be not to follow through with something at this end of it. And from FIFA's point of view, beyond pathetic, absurd. I mean, I don't know if you've seen the decision now about the Belgium shirt that literally says love on the inside collar. Doesn't say love LGBTQ+, doesn't have a rainbow on it. It's literally just the word flipping love on the inside of their collar. Can't wear that shirt either. Someone somewhere grow a backbone and actually stick up for something because this is ridiculous. And frankly, that last bit, if it was a Bond villain saying you could saying that his tournament, you couldn't wear the word love on your shirt. I think you'd think the script writer's gone mad because it was too absurd. But here we are in 2022 at the World Cup that is for everyone, for everyone, just not people who love. No, apparently not. <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm sorry, Mina. No, you should be. You absolutely should be. And it's really annoying when people say we're going to stand up and we're going to fight for this. And we're... and then you see their dismal efforts at that and you think to yourself, well, it's a little bit like racism. You know, we're going to stand against it. We're going to do all of this. You know, and how many times, I mean, we've covered Italian football since I don't know when. How many times have we looked at this and thought, I can't believe this is what you think fighting for it is, you know? Mm-hmm. It's it's really either don't make the gesture and spare me or your like righteousness about how you're going to fight and be on my corner or whatever it is on or, or people's corner. And then actually just fall apart. Oh, we'll take the fine. We'll, we'll fight for our, our, you know, our ethos, our, our way of life. Well, you just haven't. So then also mm-hmm. it comes across as hypo- hypocrisy as well. You know, you're saying, you know, you, you know, we want, we want to show you the light. We want to prove and fight for our people. And then you haven't done that. And then, so you can't, Either you go full hog or nothing's going to change. And nothing's going to change. Become a member at patreon.com forward slash Serie Chronicles for regular bonus episodes and content. Sports Social Podcast Network. There's a little bit of magic in photographs. With a click of a button, we can capture a moment in time and keep it forever. At Rockbrook Camera, let their creative team help you transform these precious memories into unique holiday gifts to last a lifetime. Most people know Rockbrook Camera for their large selection of camera gear and expert photo advice, but they're also the area's best high-quality photo lab. Choose from a variety of gifts to personalize, such as their popular photo ornaments, high-quality canvas wraps, and photo mugs. With so many gift options ready to be personalized, it's easy to share a story, a moment, or a memory that's made to delight friends, family, or even yourself. Send joy through the mailbox with Rockbrook Camera's thoughtfully designed photo greeting cards, ready to pick up in 48 hours or less. Start creating today with help from Rockbrook Camera's friendly staff in-store or online in the convenience of your home. Visit Rockbrook Camera today, one block south of 168th and West Center in Omaha, 70th and Pioneers in Lincoln, or online at rockbrookcamera.com.